Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how we make a pair of rimless glasses. Now rimless glasses are one of the most intricate and complex forms of uh, eyewear to fit prescription lenses to. I'm going to take you through the whole process from start to finish and I'm also going to tell you a little bit about these specific rimless glasses. So there are all different kinds of rimless glasses and they can be assembled in many different ways. This particular one is done with a nut and a bolt, which is one of the classic ways of fitting rimless glasses together. One of the most straightforward ways of doing it, and it allows for a very solid feel with the frames as well. These particular ones are Tag Heuer. They were a special edition made from alligator leather, the same leather that they use in the watch straps, as well as a Formula One tyre grade rubber on the inside, which means that they provide exceptional grip. Basically, the glasses never slip off while you're wearing them. Uh, even though they don't hook behind the ears at all. They don't actually make these frames anymore, but we had a client who specifically wanted them and we went out of our way to source them for him. And I thought while we're working on them, you might find it interesting to see how it's all done. So the real technical part of making a pair of rimless glasses is to program not only the size and shape of the lenses, but also the exact position of the drill holes. We're working here to tenths of a millimetre accuracy and a tenth of a millimetre error can actually mean the difference from the glasses looking right on somebody's face to looking slightly wrong. So I'll show you here how we're able to really accurately position the holes to be drilled. What I've got now I got this preset up before the video started, but what we've done is we've taken a image of the, the lens. It, it basically scans the surface of the demo lens, the lens that, that's in the frame when it's on display. And from that we can overlay holes. And wherever we position a hole, the machine will actually drill through. Now you'll notice that there are three holes. Then there's also this. Now this is what we call a tab. And this is for, there's a, there's a metal piece on the bridge of the frames. And that just locks into there. Now what it's going to do with the drill is it's going to start here, where there is no lens. And then it's going to work inwards cutting a channel into the lens and we'll see how, the, how that works. We'll, we'll actually see the machine doing that later on. But as I say, this is the bit that really takes the time and the effort and the thought and it requires a lot of experience to be able to make a pair of rimless glasses. Um, it's something that typically an apprentice won't be able to do until they've worked on glasses for roughly a year uh, with a good degree of confidence at least. So now that this is set up, we're going to block the lenses. So the point of this is to align the prescription lens for the customer with the actual shape that they need to be cut to. Now one thing I want to point out is the fact that these lenses are quite curved. Um, this client wanted a frame that was quite sporty looking and curved around his face and we were able to do that. With rimless glasses we can actually custom make any frame with any size, shape or curve of lens. Um, and that means the possibilities are endless really. You can customise your glasses however you like them. It means that, let's say we've got a frame in stock that you like, but you don't like the shape of the lens that's in it. We can modify that to be exactly the shape that you want. We can even create a shape that you draw if you, if you like. And that's how sophisticated the software on this is. Um, the options are almost limitless. We can even embed a jewel like a diamond or a Swarovski crystal into a lens. Now, we're going to transfer this to the Edger. Now this is the machine that's actually going to do the work. It takes the pre-programmed information from the other machine and it replicates it onto that lens for the specific customer.
Now that's a lot of damage! So now that we've cut the lenses, the next step is to assemble the frames. And as I mentioned earlier, these are a pretty simple nut and bolt type of fit. What that means is we've got the screw that comes through the lens like so. And then on the other side, we're going to fit a nut. Except we put a lot of care into our rimless glasses. So not only are we going to fit a nut, but we're also going to fit a washer and then a cap on the end. So there's essentially three layers there which contribute towards the whole thing staying together. You've probably heard that rimless glasses, or well, it's maybe a bit of a misconception that rimless glasses are more flimsy than regular glasses, but really it comes down to the quality of how they're assembled. A lot of opticians would skip the washer and the cap and just put the bolt on and the thing will stay, still stay together, but not necessarily as long as if you do it properly like we're about to do. On top of that, we service all of our glasses, whether it's rimless glasses or not, every six months. And every six months we'll check each nut and each joint and make sure that nothing's starting to work loose. So there you go, you've seen how we've made a pair of rimless glasses in our lab from start to finish. If you've got any questions, uh, please leave a comment below, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks guys, bye bye.